guys, it's Melanie, and today I am going to show you guys a tour of our homeschooled room slash nook, because it's finally done. Alright you guys, I'm so excited. Um, I did a whole video on the process. We did like the makeover and stuff, but today we're going to do a tour. Homeschool Nook is done. It is in part of my office, which is super exciting. This actually used to be um, a closet for the store stuff. So anyway, I'm super excited it's done. So we're going to show you guys a tour. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Please stay and subscribe for Mommy Stuff DIYs, reviews, and homeschooling stuff every single week. Here's a video. All right, guys. So this is the corner of my office, the opposite corner. Um, like here is the nook and here is the other corner. Now this is um, like my filming corner. So whatever was stuck here had to be able to move easily and really convenient. So this right here, we still need to fill up with things, but it has wheels so I can easily move it anywhere in the office or anywhere in the house that I want to. So I figured it was perfect. Um, you guys have probably seen these all over Pinterest. This of course is also from Ikea. It was 20 bucks. Um, it's a blackboard on the other side. It's a whiteboard. Let's see yeah, if I can show you. It's kind of dark back there. Um, that's right, buddy. Um, so I figured that was perfect for school, and I just have a little seat there in case he wants to draw. We can use this for, you know, sh like, just demonstrate things on. And then that's actually a crate that I use to film on. I don't stick anything in it because I use it, like, for my DIYs and stuff. I use it as, like, a backdrop kind of thing. Um, good job, buddy. You want to draw something? The silk heart. Okay. But it's very lightweight and I can move all three things very easily to film in that corner. So that's um, over there because obviously it will not fit in the other space. See this works. H. H. E, E, E. Not right I. Good job. Alrighty guys, here is the space. I'm so excited that it is finally done. This was just a closet in my um, office. So uh, I'm gonna try to go over and show you guys like what everything is, where I got it from, different things like that. I'm so excited, but this is the, the space um, that was in the closet and then right next to it I have a map hanging up there. And then I have just a little system down here, which was super inexpensive from like Walmart or Amazon or Target. You know, really, I actually zip tied it together. Fun fact, it helps it stick together better that way. Just don't cut yourself on the zip ties. Down here are magazines, um, the magazines that I work for. So I have to keep them um, around so I can see, you know, like reference different um, like ads and stuff like that. Um, right here we have paint and it's all different kinds of paint from acrylic to like, you know, washable paint. We just keep it all in one bin so it's accessible. Up here are his crafts and things that are just kind of random things. And that way, um, I'm trying to get this light available. That way he can access them and we can do different things. I also cannot get this light to do things. Have his canvas here because he likes to paint. Um, but in here are like a sand art kit, his magic pens, different things like that, different little, uh, like his, uh, uh huh, Hot Wheels maker, different things like that because um, I needed somewhere to put them. On the top, this bin right here, I'm gonna put all of his Play Doh things in there, at least most of them. How did the paint get in there? Anyway, um, I still need to put most of his Play Doh. That's all of his newer Play Doh stuff um, that we just got, but his actual Play Doh stuff's all gonna go in here. And then this bin is a bunch of stickers, whether it be my labels or just his stickers or anything at all, all of the stickers are in there in one place. So then we have the mother grail. I'm so excited for this. I'm so excited how it turned out. Um, we've been looking on Pinterest and different things like that, trying to figure out what he wanted and what I thought was cool. All right, so I'm on the vlogging camera so I can get kind of up close and personal with everything, where we got it, why it's there. We're still kind of working out the little nicks. Nicks, what? <laughs> and here's um, the side over here and the map. I, would, I do want to say we also have an over the door hanger. This might end up being for books. Right now it ho like hosts um, my stockpile of like diapers and stuff. So that was really inexpensive at Staples. Um, I think they have on Amazon too. And I think it just works really well, you know, for extra storage. And then right here, that's going to be where I film. But we're going to keep this here for school. That way 
um, it's easily movable. Here's the nook. Okay, oh yeah, next to the nook. This map, you guys, was a dollar at Dollar Tree. If you're new to my channel and you haven't seen it, I was so excited because I've been looking online and there were maps for like $10. This one is huge and it was only a dollar at Dollar Tree. And it's super colorful. I love it. I'm going to put some of his artwork up here, I think. So I left that wall open for now. Um, and if you can see, we put little stars to everywhere we've been on the map because he thought that was a super cool little um, idea. This right here from Walmart or I, I don't know, Target somewhere. I've had it forever, like since before college. Um, and then we just put our stuff in there. And my memory card was full and had to get another one. Anyway, we got all four of those bins from Dollar Tree and Logan picked them out. Um, and then up there, I just have like arts and crafts stuff. So it's out of the way. So it's not necessarily in a space, but it also, he gets to pick the color, you know? So just different arts and crafts stuff that we don't use up out of the way. Um, and then the shelf right here, including the two red brackets and the bar with the four cups are all from Ikea, as well as the abacus, this desk and the chair. So, um, this right here, the, um, shelf itself, I think is like $3 and the, or $4, I'm not sure. And the little red brackets are 50 cents a piece at Ikea. I love that they have red brackets now. So cute. The bar I think was $3 and each of these bins were a dollar a piece. You got to pick it all out. I love the way it turned out. I was admiring things like this on Ikea. Um, these four little paper holders right here are a dollar for four at Ikea. I have more for my office too. We might put some stickers on there or something, I'm not sure. And then this little bin, the blue bin that I have colored pencils and scissors in um, was from Dollar Tree for a dollar and I had that up out of the way so that way he can't get them unless I'm in here because I feel more comfortable with them being sharper, you know, up out of the way. Um, and I think I'm gonna get another one and stack it. So anyway, the desk is actually a side table from Ikea. They had a desk that was labeled child's desk that looked so much like this, but it was $40 and this was only $7. So we went with the side table. The chair, we were gonna get him a different kind of chair and they didn't have it. Um, so we ended up getting the stool and I think I'm gonna get him like an actual desk chair to go under there, but the stool was like $7. The abacus was like 10, he really liked it and said he can learn on it. And I'm like, all right, you totally can. We will get it for school. He liked to pick out, you know, the stuff he wanted. Um, this homework chart, which he liked to label, um, he labeled it on his own, which is why some of the spelling's off for you guys. That's pretty good for a four year old, I have to say, without help. So anyway, um, that was actually at Dollar General for a dollar. This blue um, piece right here with all of the little wording in there. Um, I love this so much, by the way. Dollar Tree as well as the little papers um, to go inside. And if you're wondering why it looks like that, it's because we have um, his address in there so that way he can like kind of help him remember his address for right now. We normally put our sight words that we are learning through the week in there um, because we had this in our kitchen before. But we were trying to remember our address, so I turned them around because I did not want to give that away on the internet, you guys know. Um, behind there, in between this uh, shelf and the wall, is an art kit um, on the bottom there that really super cool. Let me get close and show you guys this. A friend of ours made this for Logan. Do you see it? It has a little L on it. It's like a little art kit, um, and he keeps that down there. I love it. It's great for traveling. Um, this... These, all three of these bins are from Dollar Tree, so it was $3 total. He likes to keep his markers in there for some reason, so we do that. And then the top are his, um, th that's what he takes traveling. So whatever he wants to take with him during his traveling, we travel a lot. He can put whatever he wants in there. And then we just put it there if he needs to be refilled or whatever. Or just stays in his bag, you guys know. Um, this bookshelf right here we've had since college. I don't even know where it came from. Um, I think I might put some sort of like wrapping paper in the back to make it look more colorful. Um, we'll figure it out. Um, these little boxes, the Minions one came from the craft store, I think. My mom got it for him for his Minions party last year. This one is from Little Passports. I definitely recommend Little Passports, especially for homeschooling. Um, but um, we keep those there to like keep stuff in. I don't, the only thing, we haven't put anything in both of them yet. We, we did finally get here. Hold on. If I can get this out. I put... Um, his flashcards in this one, and then I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in the other one. I think maybe his index cards in that one. Um, and then these are for little Lego pieces that um, could go to a certain Lego set, like extras and stuff. So I just, I don't know, I put them there for now because I like to keep the Legos in here because that way they're not in the playroom where Sissy can get them, which is my 13 month old daughter. Um, these are just the little papers. This was a dollar for the whole pack to go in here. 
This is just his notebook that um, he's just been using a lot for some reason, so I put that there. These are his stars. These will go in my office space, but for now I just have them tucked away in here. Um, these were dollar at Dollar Tree. Up here, these are the two bucks we've been working on. That, um, he just decided he wanted his helicopter up top, if you're wondering. But we go to the aquarium a lot. So I wanted to find something, um, like some sort of learning books to go with the regular curriculum. Um, but there, I, he looks at them more of like, you know, not learning, more of like for fun. So I wanted him to learn more about what he was seeing at the aquarium. We do have a season pass. So this is a level two reader he's been reading um, about sharks because he likes sharks a lot. This I totally recommend. I'll link this below by the way. But this um, has like simple adding so it's on uh, point with like what he's doing. On point. Did I say that? You guys know. Anyway, there's like stickers and stuff. It's a whole activity book but it has like mazes. In addition, it's totally on track with like his grade level and stuff. And it's about um, the different you know ocean care uh, yeah ocean characters I just broke this oh poop here we go the ocean creatures rather that he is seeing at the aquarium you guys I cannot this is absurd look at this so anyway if I can get this done <laughs> there we go yes we just got back from Target and we got this awesome clock because we're learning how to tell time on a regular clock and not just a digital clock you tell him, Nogi, we did a haul if you can't tell. Um, peanut butter jelly. <laughs> and we're going to hang it right there, he says. So we're going to hang it up. The chalk's awesome because I think it can help us write out the minutes and stuff, you know? All right, let's hang it up. I love it if it's perfect. Right after I filmed the tour, I actually went to the Dollar Tree, actually the day after. And I found these bins. I love them so much. you got to love Dollar Tree bins. you got to love Dollar Tree back-to-school stuff. I love it so much. Anyway, they're, of course, a dollar. I got a green one for his uh, school space, and then I got a blue one for my office. They're perfect to put papers in, to put school books in, you know, different things like that. Um, not exactly sure. We're, we're still kind of going through, like, how to organize his space a little more. And once we have it more organized, I'll, of course, have a video up about that because, you know, got to love organizational videos. Videos. But anyway, yes, I love these bins. I love the dollar back to school stuff at the dollar store right now. Um, that's it, you guys. I'm super excited of how this turned out. Super duper excited. I love it so much. My office, I still need to work on the rest of it because I moved my desk and all that stuff. But that is it. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to link everything that I got in, um, below. And if you know any awesome space saving ideas or tips, or if you know any awesome YouTube um, homeschool moms that I can follow, please let me know in the comments below because I love following like-minded YouTubers or bloggers or things like that. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. It means the world to me. Please stay and subscribe. Bye, Olivians.